The High Presidency really divided into two parts. The first part was getting the faculty to be multidisciplinary um, and end all the arguments about it, which we achieved largely by sorting out the exam system and kind of rectifying old injustices. I'm Rod Griffiths. I was president from 2004 till 2007. And um, the main challenge, certainly the first year, was to address the problem of, of a variety of people that worked in public health but weren't members of the faculty. When I first became president, I went around the country talking to as many people as I could. And I kept coming across these people who just happened to be um, in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, the, the, the conference when we finally sort of caught everybody up and sorted it all out was one of the great moments of my life, really. After that, there was a reorganisation, which no doubt everybody's familiar with, but it's incredibly energy sapping. The numbers of people prepared to give any time to doing anything with the faculty fell by about 60%. I mean, it became immensely difficult to get anything done. I don't, don't do regret much, so... Um, I mean, there's lots of things I would have liked to have seen done. Um, and I think the reorganisation stops the possibility of doing a lot of things simply because it, it makes everybody very uncertain. Um, creativity and engagement drop when people are worried about their jobs. Um, and so in the end, you have to just do what you can to try and, you know, keep people going. We're committed to achieving things that take a great deal of time to do. So you have to establish credibility by solving short-term problems, but at the same time, leave enough time and energy to be able to focus on the long-term and make something happen and champion those bigger issues. When I was RDPH, I introduced um, clot-busting therapies for um, coronary artery disease. Not, not just getting individual clinicians to do it, but joining up the system, measuring how long it took for the ambulances and all that. It was later adopted as a national system. Now, I saved hundreds of lives by doing that. Many more than I ever saved as a clinician. Many more. Keep smiling and don't go away. If you keep smiling and be very, very persistent, you will win out in the end. Very good. <laughs>